What's up, risk managers? My name is Nasdaq Anonymous, and I'm addicted to the NQ. And boy, is she one hell of a drug. And welcome to today's NA meeting, where I will discuss the economic data for the week, the day's technical analysis, the trading opportunities that we took on today's stream, and build a game plan for tomorrow's price action. And if you haven't done so already, you can show your support by subscribing to the channel. And with that said, let's jump into the charts now. This is tomorrow's data. Be mindful that all times are in central time. And we have a light block of news scheduled for tomorrow, so let's jump into it. From 8 o'clock to 9.45, we have Fed Waller, Williams, and Barr speaking. At 3.30, we have some crude news. And at 6 o'clock, we have Fed Bostic, Collins, and Mester speaking. Now, it was never recommended to trade during volatile price action, but if you choose to trade during these times, then understand you're playing a game of chance with their trading account. And now that we know what to expect, let's jump into the charts and create a game plan for tomorrow's price action. This is the block of price action that we traded during today's stream, and today was definitely another trend day. The Nasdaq had a strong open, continuing the strong momentum that we saw at the end of the day of Friday's session. Now, no one can argue the fact that the bulls have full control of this market right now. And as you can see, the bears did have their few moments. But the bulls took this as an opportunity to buy as low as possible, trading the price higher to retest going into the second half of the session. It did appear that the bears had finally had enough and we saw some selling pressure come in, pushing price down for a decent pullback. And you would think that the bears was gonna finally rotate price going back into this range. But with all this bullish momentum, that move down was immediately bought back up and the bulls regained momentum of this market. And I will say that it is hard out here for bears in these bull streets, but the bears can't let people think that they're weak out here. The bears have to show up, but I think when the bears finally show up, we're gonna see a massive, massive correction because let's be honest, right now price has traded above previous all-time highs. Nothing fundamentally has changed, but if you haven't noticed, the market is no longer married to fundamentals. It's completely divorced from them. Right now, inflation reports and the Fed is holding up this market. But here's what I see that the bulls failed to do towards the end of the session. You can see that we had this bullish move into this range. And when the bears finally was able to rotate price lower, the bulls immediately bought it back up, but they failed to take out this high. We had a drop, the bulls tried one more time, and for right now, the bulls are currently failing to rotate price higher, which the bears can take full advantage of this. And if you look at the hour chart, you can see that we are definitely in a bullish environment. You can see that we are getting little to no pullbacks. The market is going up in the straight line. However, tomorrow, I believe that this will be an opportunity for the bears to finally rotate price lower in preparation for the earnings on Wednesday after the bell. I'm pretty sure on the way down that there is going to be bulls resting in areas of liquidity, waiting to get filled on their orders or a ride back up to create all time high. And because of that failed rotation higher, this is what I'm going to be looking for going into tomorrow's stream. I'm going to be looking for the bears to rotate price lower. And once we get that rotation lower back into this trading range, I want to see if the bulls are going to be able to get a retest of this breakout leg. I want to see if the bulls are going to hold this area. And if they don't, if the bulls fail to hold this area, I want to see a rotation down lower for a retest of this low created at the end of Friday's session. And I can bet that there's going to be bulls waiting down. This market is literally being held up by the Fed and NVIDIA. And it's crazy to say that the market is no longer tied to growth anymore. But as we say on the stream, we just shut up and cover. The charts are always right. Regardless of what you think the market should do, if you want to make money every day, you got to listen and trade the charts and pick your spots strategically. And with that said, let's jump into an ES chart. This is an ES chart, and this is the block of price action that we traded during today's stream. And just like the NQ, the ES had a strong open, continuing the momentum that we saw at the end of Friday's session. 
the bulls are definitely in control of this market. We barely got a pullback today. The market just continued to trade high. And if you joined us in today's stream, you saw that firsthand for yourself. But let's talk about the trades that we took today. We had a really great trade on the ES today, and it really took some patience until it finally worked out. Now, at the start of the stream, originally, I was going, I was looking for that 22 entry, or at least somewhere closer to this support area. But we didn't get that, and we missed this move going higher. And because we don't buy high, we had to look for a short opportunity in this bullish momentum, which was definitely a tough challenge. We identified an area where the bulls may exhaust themselves and the bears can come in to rotate price lower. We identified this range and towards the end of the session, we got this short capturing this entire move. And we talked about this entry and we talked about this exit. But earlier on in the stream, and this is the irony of this position, we was actually in at 343 early in the stream. We did take some drawdown, and it seemed that the bulls really wanted to take out last week's high. However, in this situation, it appears that the bulls had exhausted themselves, failed to take price higher, and once we identified that the bulls were failing in this area, we took this short with little to no drawdown, and this is where we finally got that short position that we was looking for the entire stream. And it appears that now into the close, price is trading into a range, which has me thinking that price is now going to rotate lower, giving the professional bulls a great dip buy opportunity so they can come back in when we can see a massive move higher. Now we've already spoken about how NVIDIA has their earnings on Wednesday. And that's going to play a big part with the market moving forward. On our live stream, we talked about how, at least on the NQ, the NQ can make it to 19K. And if NVIDIA has great earnings, we can definitely see that 19K number. We are literally around the corner. And with the ES, I wouldn't be surprised if NVIDIA can push this market up to that 5,400 mark. So I am excited to see how the market is going to react to NVIDIA's earnings. And just like the NQ, we are definitely bullish on the one hour. It's kind of giving me an idea of what to look for going into tomorrow. I want to see this rotation down lower. I'm looking for price to come back to this 290 to 280 area. Or we're going to get that rotation down lower. And with the, all this bullish momentum, even if NVIDIA were to push this market lower, there's too many buyers on the way down that would absorb all this bearish momentum. And I wouldn't be surprised seeing the market come back up, trying to take out these highs. So in summary, both the NQ and the ES are both bullish. The ES has yet to take out its highs. I think it missed it by a tick. The NQ though, is made as new highs. And since then, price has rotated lower, failing to take out that new high. Towards the end of the session, the bears appear to have taken over and is now rotating price lower. But I only believe this is happening in preparation of Wednesday's earnings so the bulls can get a nice dip buy. And I wouldn't call this move down a reversal. Both instruments are too bullish for the bears to come in and completely reverse this market. And with all this bullish momentum, I wouldn't get comfortable in long term shorts. I do believe that eventually price will rotate lower, but obviously you want to be focusing all your trades to the long side because currently the buyers are in control of this market. And with that said, that's all I have. And if you're enjoying these breakdowns and want insight on trading the NASDAQ and ES intraday, then subscribe to the channel, join our live stream from the Discord, join the risk managers in the chat, and we appreciate your support as we grow. As we wrap up, Remember the risk manager's creed. Trading involves risk and demands careful analysis and capital preservation. And we can do that by practicing sound risk management. Every trade tells a story. Make sure you write that story in your trading journal because our psychology is all over these charts. And as always, my name is NASDAQ Anonymous and I'm addicted to the NQ. Stay green out there. Peace.